In this video, we'll be installing the 6th Element Engineering Intercooler Upgrade on a 2023 Toyota GR Corolla. For this install, you'll need the following tools. A ratchet, ratchet extension, panel removal tool, 10mm socket, a 12mm socket, silicone lubricant, ramps, jack stands, or a lift, and a couple of hours depending on your skill level. To start the install, lift the vehicle up off the ground. With a 10 mm socket and a panel removal tool, remove the bolts and push pins, securing the forward and rear engine splash guards. Then move on to the corner splash guards on both the driver and passenger side. You can leave these loose or remove them entirely if you prefer. Next, we'll remove the hot side intercooler hose by loosening the two hose clamps with a 10 mm socket. Then move over to the driver's side and repeat this process. On the driver's side front corner, remove the two 10 mm bolts securing the intercooler. Then move over to the 10 mm bolt securing the passenger side of the intercooler. On the passenger side of the lower radiator mount, remove the two 12 mm bolts. Then move over to the driver's side, and while supporting the lower radiator mount, remove the two 12 mm bolts. Now, while supporting the intercooler, you can pull the lower radiator mount. On the front corners of the intercooler, push up on the intercooler air guards and push them off to the side. With these out of the way, you can maneuver the intercooler in a manner to lower the right side while pushing up on the left to release the intercooler from its mount. In the box that you received from 6th, you'll find a bag containing four hose clamps, two 50 to 58 millimeter clamps, and two 60 to 68 millimeter clamps, an installation card, and a 6th element sticker, a product diagram, the hot side and cold side intercooler hoses, and the new intercooler. With the stock intercooler removed, transfer the stock rubber bushing and grommet to your new 6th element intercooler. At this point, you can choose whether you'd like to remove the stock intercooler guards to make room for the new larger unit. It's not necessary, but does make the install a bit easier. Using a small Dremel and eye protection, carefully cut along this line to remove the guard, and repeat this process on both sides. Now you can lift the new intercooler up into the stock mount and then raise the driver's side up and into place. On the driver's side, start to thread the two 10 mm bolts that you removed earlier, but don't tighten them all the way. Then repeat this over on the passenger side. With the intercooler loosely mounted, you can install the lower radiator support with the four stock 12 mm bolts. Before tightening the bolts all the way, ensure that the intercooler has a bit of play and hasn't been wedged at an angle. If all is well, you can tighten the four 12 mm radiator support bolts, followed by the three 10 mm intercooler bolts. Next, we'll prep the supplied intercooler hoses and clamps. We'll start with the cold side hose, which has a 90 degree bend. Mount a 60 to 68 mm clamp on the larger end and a 50 to 58 mm clamp on the smaller end. Then apply a bit of lubricant to each side. For an easy install, stage the clamps as seen here. Install the hose by sliding the larger end onto the intercooler and the smaller end onto the throttle body. It'll take a bit of maneuvering to get the hose fully installed. And a good trick is to squeeze in the middle to create flex, which should help seat the ends fully. Then slide the clamp over the end and tighten with a 10 mm socket. Once seated, squeeze on each end to confirm that it's over the lip that it's attaching to. Repeat this process on the hot side hose by adding lubricant, staging the clamps, installing the hose with the large side connecting to the intercooler and the small side to the hot pipe. Give it some flex, tighten the clamps with a 10 mm socket, and then check the ends to make sure the hose is seated properly. With that done, you can do a quick check around the intercooler to make sure everything is tight. Then mount your corner, forward, and rear splash guards to complete the install. With your new 6th Element intercooler, you'll reduce stress on the turbo, resulting in better flow and lower temperatures, giving you consistent gains of 14 to 17 wheel horsepower across the entire rev range. And if you have any questions, please email us at csr at sixthelement.com.